how can we extract the best performance from a hi-fi system? This has long been the driving question for engineers at Pioneer, and it's what prompted them to come up with the innovative DLC, or Direct Linear Conversion concept. This concept can be applied to any component, but is especially suited to CD players. In implementing this far-reaching concept, Pioneer engineers set five goals for themselves. To ensure accurate signal transmission, to provide a steady supply of power, to reduce resonance and vibration, to reduce noise, and to facilitate accurate signal processing. That's because, at Pioneer, we believe it's impossible for a manufacturer to develop hi-fi components capable of creating pure, lively sound without establishing clear objectives such as these. How did our engineers go about achieving the goals they set for themselves? The answer to that question is in the group of innovative technologies we've developed for our compact disc players. Let's start from the top. When you open the top panel of our CD player, the PD-93, the first thing you'll notice is the absence of wiring. This is a result of our basic, simple and straight approach to improve sound quality. The signal path from pickup to output terminal has been made as short as possible so that interference does not have a chance to affect the signal. You'll also notice that digital circuitry is separate from analog circuitry. This is to shut out mutual interference between the two, a sure way to improve the signal to noise ratio. We've also refined our direct connection concept and separated the circuits for the left channel from those for the right to achieve balanced sound quality. Our double-deck PC board is still another approach we've used to trim the signal path to its shortest possible length. Our clean laser pickup improves laser collecting efficiency and enables distortion-free signal reproduction with minimized read error and reduced jitter. When it comes to the power supply, we put special emphasis on providing our CD player with abundant power, so that the sound it provides is rich and balanced. To ensure steady power supply for substantial bass, the power supply uses a discrete push-pull design and features high-capacity transformers. Furthermore, there are two independent power transformers, 
one for the analog circuits and the other for the digital servo circuit. This elaborate design eliminates unwanted interference between the two sections. Transformers are mounted outside the main chassis and sustained by dedicated support. This prevents vibrations set up by the transformers and the inductive noise this creates from affecting circuits inside the plane. The pickup is driven by an advanced linear motor for quick, accurate tracking. Its copper-plated housing also minimizes the influence of vibration and resonance to the pickup. A high-torque spindle motor drives the disc with solid and steady power. We've extended the life and improved speed accuracy of the motor by using an extra-thick 4.5mm spindle shaft. Take a look at the base plate. We use a copper-plated honeycomb chassis to prevent sounds reflected from the floor and other external vibrations from affecting the circuits of the CD player. Copper plating has the added function of reducing magnetic distortion. The output terminals are isolated from the rear panel so that vibrations in the cabinet or rear panel are not transmitted to the circuit boards. Our disc stabilizer uses a vertical magnetic clamp. Since the two parts are not in contact with each other once the disc is set, vibrations in the disc are not transmitted to other parts of the plane. the display off switch, the digital output off switch and the noiseless microcomputer are the means we've introduced to eliminate digital noise. By turning off the display during playback, by turning off the digital output when it's not in use and by making the microcomputer operate only when a control button is pressed, you can enjoy clearer sound. Accurate signal processing is the fifth objective in our direct linear conversion concept. To achieve it, we eliminated zero cross distortion, a source of low level sound degradation. Zero cross distortion was inevitable with conventional DA or digital to analog conversion. But that's not true with the innovative converters we employed for our CD players. We've come up with three types of converters depending on the class the player belongs to. The true 20-bit dual-balanced DA converter has two separate converter units, one for the positive and one for the negative. This elaborate design minimizes error in the most significant bit, thereby eliminating zero cross distortion. The one-bit DA converter with double-step noise shaping eliminates zero cross distortion completely. Excessive requantization noise is reduced to a minimum by Pioneer's double-step noise shaping technology. By applying digital bias to low-level digital data in the digital filter, this type of converter prevents the generation of zero cross distortion. Thanks to these three different DA conversion methods, zero cross distortion has been eliminated at last and low level sounds are now reproduced with higher accuracy than ever before. Let's introduce our CD players that feature these high performance DA converters class by class.
there you have it. Pioneer Technologies based on our DLC concept to bring recorded digital sound ever closer to the real thing. Whether it's the delicate pizzicato from a lightly plucked violin string, the dynamic crescendos of a full orchestra, or the graciously dying echoes that soar toward the ceiling of a concert hall, Pioneer Technology brings you sounds the way you were meant to hear them. Pioneer's PD-M630 is a multi-play compact disc player that's built on our DLC concept for superior sound quality. Using Pioneer's original multi-play CD magazine, it plays back six discs without stopping, so it's equally impressive when it comes to convenience. As you can see, this magazine holds six discs without getting bulky. What's more, these magazines double as storage boxes to help streamline your CD library by allowing you to classify discs by artist, by type of music, or by other common factor. And for added convenience, you can even take the same magazines to your car and pop them into the multiplay CD player of your car audio system. Another attractive feature of our multiplay CD player is a multi-memory that remembers program tracks for up to 20 different magazines. And because program data is stored in memory even when a magazine is ejected, it can be immediately recalled when the same magazine is reloaded later. The PD-M630 also comes with a convenient multi-function remote controller that lets you turn the power on and off from a distance. The multi-memory in the PD-M630 has a large storage capacity to keep a vast amount of program data alive. This is another way Pioneer has improved convenience of our CD players while assuring clear, high-quality digital sound based on our innovative direct linear conversion concept. Let's next take a look at a new cassette deck, the CT959. Now that digital sound has become a mainstream program source, in designing a cassette deck, it's become more important to find ways to record music with the highest density possible. In this figure, you can see that the dynamic response of a recording made on our cassette deck is extremely close to that of the source digital program. The first step to realize optimum sound quality in the CT959 was further improvement on our already proven anti-vibration technologies to reduce the effects of resonance and vibration to the absolute minimum. First is the employment of a new vibration damping cassette stabilizer. This prevents vibrations from being transmitted to the cassette itself where they can degrade sound. To develop this new stabilizer, we turn to a computerized vibration analysis simulation using software developed by NASA. As you can see, when not damped by the stabilizer, the cassette is subject to harmful vibrations. However, 
when the cassette is secured by our stabilizer, vibrations are drastically reduced. In our isolated door design, the cassette door is physically separated from the cassette well to isolate the cassette from acoustic pressure generated by speakers. Pioneer's newly developed MVI, Motor Vibration Insulator, is a rigid reinforced special resin bracket mounted between the motor and mechanism chassis. It's highly effective in shutting out motor-created vibrations. After solving the problem of vibrations, we then turn to another very important factor affecting the sound quality of a cassette deck, tape speed constancy. In the CT959's reference master mechanism, we redesigned the capstan with longer pinch rollers to make tape running smoother. The result was a drastic reduction of wow and flutter for specifications far better than those of conventional models. Programs on CD often contain high-level high frequencies that simply cannot be found in analog music media. To accommodate high power, high frequencies, therefore, we've increased the bias frequencies of our deck to almost double the conventional value, 210 kilohertz. Recordings made with this unit are extremely low in distortion, especially in the higher frequencies. We also use a low impedance amorphous head to further improve purity. In order to faithfully reproduce the super low frequencies of CD sources, we've redesigned the power supply circuitries. Power transformers with bifilar coil windings are just one of the new technologies. We've also introduced the line straight switch to bypass the balance control if so desired when recording to ensure that signals travel the shortest possible path for minimum distortion. The CT959 is equipped with a pair of convenient features for quality recording. Peak level calibration lets you easily adjust the recording peak level to the optimum level once the peak level is memorized. Then, tape calibration lets you accurately standardize the sensitivity and frequency response of different tapes by means of a built-in oscillator. Despite its two-head design, the CT447 features the Pioneer Auto BLE for automatically matching electronics for individual tapes. It makes it possible to extract the best performance from each and every tape you use.
It also incorporates the CD deck synchronization, a convenient feature when recording music from a CD source. Let's continue by taking a look at the new Pioneer TV system, the SD28AV1. It embodies a number of enhanced features. Especially noteworthy are three innovations that help add sharper edges, clearer detail and more contrast to the picture without glare. First is the dynamic sharpness control, which makes edges sharper and crisper. By reducing the amount of shoot, this control makes the edges thinner and cuts glare. And it adjusts the amount of shoot according to the input level. The dynamic sharpness control also cancels out annoying picture noise. The second innovation is the automatic black level expansion circuit that makes blacks blacker so shades of grey are expressed with finer gradation. And the third innovation is the tint tube, which improves contrast. Its black stripes also help define pure black. Our advanced TV also comes with a variety of high performance features including white balance control and AV memories that store adjusted parameters for picture and sound. In addition, its built-in audio amp boasts 30 watts of power. Thanks to this high power you can enjoy dynamic sound to go along with the high quality picture simply by connecting external speakers. Pioneer has developed a new speaker system for the digital audio age, the Prolog S330 with bass drive. With our vertical twin bass drive, two woofers of the same design are mounted on the front baffle in line with the tweeter at the center. In conventional speaker systems, low, middle, and high frequency sounds emanate from different points. But with the prologue, all frequencies radiate from a virtual center located in the tweeter. As a result, you will enjoy an amazingly natural sound field as well as sharp definition. The vertical twin bass drive is now refined with our newly developed wavefront control technology, a development based on computer simulations that's allowed us to precisely control the way radiated sound propagates. Thanks to this refinement, the sounds from multiple speakers appear to have a sharp focus. This results in an enhanced sense of depth, clear sound localization, and above all, higher musicality. We've also ensured steady and clear sound localization by the use of a cabinet with a round front baffle.
as you've seen, Pioneer has continued to improve on technologies for enhanced hi-fi performance, all to bring you both better sound and better ease of use. We hope that today's program has given you a better idea of what these technologies mean to audiophiles and music lovers. Because, after all, if you didn't appreciate quality performance, we'd be out of business. Thank you.